guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got the V-Jump scans right here um, for both Dragon Ball Legends and also for Dokkan. Um, we definitely have got some, I think, very cool news in here. Again, Dokkan is continuing to win in a major, 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 major way. Um, now, immediately, I do want to start... Legends, dude. Okay. Us Dokkan fans remember what happened when Dokkan dropped this unit. This exact character right here. Look. This Kalen Khalifa. LR Kalen Khalifa. They were, like, one of, like, when you take, like, how good a unit is in the history of Dokkan, Kalen Khalifa, they might have even been, like, a top five unit ever, um... In terms of how strong they were during the meta. I think nothing will ever replace STR Gogeta when he first came out. Like it's just it's impossible the way the game is now to be better than him. So he'll he'll reign supreme. Like there when the one year anniversary dropped uh, for six months until Super Vegito came out, uh, you either had Gogeta or you didn't even have a Dokkan account, basically. Right? Like it's like Kale and Khalifa were the best unit in the game by far, but it wasn't quite like that. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. Um, how Legends, like, you know, what, so they dropped LF Ev Evolution Blue Vegeta last night, right? Like, what, what if, like, he's just, like, hard replaced by this unit or something? Like, it's so ridiculous. It could, it could happen, man. Could be crazy. Uh, then Kave's getting a Zenkai as well, which it could be very good for Vegeta, too. Um, all right, so now to the main event, Dokkan. So we do have some translations, uh, from the homie Goresh. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got right here. So, Okay. This is probably the biggest thing, I think, to come from this V-Jump scan is this right here. So, this is a new, like, super difficult event. By the way, th this is all, like, you know, this is V-Jump is for JP, but this is all, like, global and JP stuff right here, right? Because this is, you can see it's the 350 million download, like, celebration sort of teaser right here. So, this super mega difficult event looks like it's coming to Global Dokkan at the same time, right? Now, Dokkan is just absolutely, like, you know, I've gotten a little bit heavier into Legends, and it's like, this is like a mockery. Th this 50 million, like, users or downloads or whatever the hell celebration they want to call it, or whatever, however they want to say it is, is fine. But, like, there's literally nothing to do. And then they, like, you know, new units in Legends drive the meta, like, like, a new character in Legends is content. It's a PvP game, right? It's not the same as Dokkan. But, like, they're not do dropping any... They dropped one LF character who is summonable LR rates, and then there's an EX who is even worse than Dokkan summonable LR rates. Just those two characters, and there's, like, no events. There's nothing to do. And then it's just, like, Dokkan. Look at... Dude, Dokkan in 2021, it's, like... Is this, this game is going to have, like, a 10th year anniversary. Like, if they keep this up, dude, there's, like, a 10th year anniversary coming up. Because it's, like, like we're, we have back-to-back -back celebrations on JP with 10 easy A's, right? Like, like, completely changing the landscape of a lot of these old teams, right? Like, you know, you just look at something like physical Kid Bulma, right? And how powerful of an addition she is to Dragon Ball Seekers, to youth to Dragon Ball Saga, like, it's just very helpful, um, and now Dokkan, it's just, it seems like the 350 million download celebration is actually really gonna continue this in a heavy way, because we have this new difficult event, um, we have this Bulma event, we'll talk about this in a second, then I seriously showed us, um, some details, I did a, a, a short on this earlier, but I seriously showed us some details for this, you know, journey to Planet Namek, um, sort of, a uh, daily stage or whatever, and we're going to be able to get EX skill orbs. So like, like we haven't even seen like the meat of the celebration yet. And look at all the shit that we got in here. This is at least five easy A's. These are free to play easy A's. The Ginyu Force that's coming, right? Like, you know, what summonable unit? Are we going to, is it going to be transforming Goku and transforming Frieza? Are they going to easy a Namek Goku? Uh, dude, if they easy a Namek Goku, uh, that is going to be like, wow, like, I, I would I will be shocked, but that that is best actual like he would be like one of the crazy like he'd be the best easy and he it would be tough tough for them not to make him the best easy in the game with his dominant link set 
Like, uh, if STR and Namek Goku, they really need to do that. If they easy a him, that's it's going to be so huge. Um, all right, I, I got off track. Okay, so you have the new challenge event. Uh, Super Fierce Fight Complete Works. Interesting. Experience historic battles through two different perspectives. Build teams uh, pursuant to the conditions and clear the events to obtain a support memory. Sounds similar to the God event uh, to our boy Goresh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, hmm. Similar to the God event. Now, again, I, I would assume, right, that it's like, okay, so like Saiyan Saga Vegeta is one of them. You know, obviously we got Kid Buu, we got Cell, we have Frieza down here. So, like, I assume, like, you know, this first one, you know, we would be controlling Kaioken Goku, or, well, at least, you know, from go we're fighting you know great ape vegeta and then maybe there's another stage where we're fighting kaioken goku and then you know over here for frieza there's one stage where we're fighting frieza one we're fighting super saiyan goku cell one stage where we're fighting cell one where we're fighting super saiyan 2 gohan and then one we're fighting kid Buu, one we're fighting super saiyan 3 goku right something like that i assume a support memory is interesting who knows what the support memory would be based on right because i mean all we see is sort of like the the four saga bosses from Dragon Ball Z, right? Like, we don't really have too much info to take away from this um, besides just this. But, like, I mean, again, this is... We have this. We got the daily event. Um, we have this uh, Bulma story event right here. Um, and then, of course, we have the Ginyu Force EZA, right? Now, this is, you know, something that was, I think, fairly obviously going to happen. Um, the main reason for this is because they just dropped the Ginyu Force Super Battle Road stage, and it is, like, brutal, dude. I've, I've got the whole team, full level 10 links, equips, everything, and it's still, like, by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin, chin, I managed to beat that shit, right? So, you know, the EZA will help. I mean, how much are these guys going to change a lot of these teams? It's hard to say. Um, I mean, Ginyu Force is going to be awesome to get a massive buff. And then Special Pose, these are two stages. Again, I, you know, every time, like, new units are coming out right now, you can point to one of the 20 new stages of Super Battle Run on JP, right? They drop these stages and then they buff the hell out of them, right, to help people beat them. It's what they always do, right? They want the stages to be like, oh my god, they're so tough! But every, we go through this every time, where it's like, they're like, what are they thinking? The stage is so tough. And then it's, dude, in six months, like, it's like, for Global, the God event wasn't even tough, because you guys had the GT Hero team, right? Like, the GT Hero team destroys the God event, right? Like, it's like, all those, like, crazy post six year anniversary units that were on Global before the anniversary destroyed the event right like like that's what they do they'll drop a difficult event that you really have to like scrape by and then they buff the hell out of whatever it is you need to beat it afterwards um i mean birder is gonna be good no matter what i mean he kind of sucks like he well he does suck right now but you know easy aid stacking defense birder is gonna have value so like and instantaneously we know birder should be pretty solid at least as a defensive stacker so on any of these categories, if, you know, the Leg GT Legendary Goku event gets a mission, the Legendary Vegeta event gets a mission, I mean, hell, who knows, are we going to get a Legendary Frieza event from Namek or something like that? It's very possible, um, but Birder could help out with that, which would be good, because Birder is probably the worst of the Ginyu Force right now, currently, I would say, just because this, unfortunately, does not work like Janemba. Janemba can go in slot one and immediately guard before he attacks, but Birder has to attack, and then this kicks him. Maybe after he easy A's, that would change, which would make him way goddamn better. Um, Then we have Goldo here. Now, I mean, Goldo is going to be a good Super Battle Road unit. Um, We'll see what they do. Honestly, I mean, just slap, like, you know, uh, defensive stacking on him. He needs a lot. I mean, this is... It's pretty bare bones, right? Uh, but, I mean, these units are over three years old at this point. Um, then, of course, we also have Captain Ginyu right here. Um, he probably is the best of the five. Man, again, he is a dominant uh, Super Battle Road unit. Uh, yeah, dude, just give us a, attack and defensive stacking. I don't care. By the way, Captain Ginyu, it, it's hard. I, I mean, I'll, I'll do videos. You know, we'll probably try and theorize, you know, who could be like the Part 2 LR or something like that. Seeing a lot of people, you know, kind of pointing towards Ginyu. 
Um, that would make sense to me. The only thing is I do not want Ginyu to get an LR. Only because I want Ginyu to get a Dokkan event. Not an, a summonable, like, legendary summon LR, right? Um, so we'll see. Maybe, like, a Piccolo, Krillin, and Gohan. Or, like, a, a Piccolo and Nail or something like that. It's hard. I don't know what the legendary summon LR is going to be. Um, maybe Kaioken Goku? It's, again, it's hard to say. It just, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it would probably feel weird to, like, lead off with Super Saiyan Goku. And then the Part 2 LR is Kaioken Goku, though. It's, it's going to be odd, right? Um, but, yeah, Ginyu could be good. Uh, what else do we have right here? Jace. Jace, still solid with this. So, Jace, again, could be a really interesting option on a lot of these teams, man. If they make Jace just a little bit more solid, I mean, again, bringing him to a lot of these teams could really be good with this foreseeing enemy super attack. What if they gave that to all of the Ginyu Force? Because they've all got scouters. What if they just gave it to all of them? That would be very interesting. Um, and then Raccoon, I mean, they just got to make him, like, way beefier. Give him, like, damage reduction or something like that. Um, but I mean, as you guys can see, like, we've got a lot of good stuff coming. EX skill orbs, again, these, this is on global and JP at the same time. You know, this is a daily stage. Again, we're going to get EX skill orbs for Planet Namek Saga. Um, you know, we have this new difficult event. There is just a lot going on right now. The 350 million download celebration is looking like it is going to be packed, baby. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.